Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Capricorn? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Cappies, what's going on? Let's get back in touch with you, Capricorns. What's up? What's up? Communication coming in. Eh, some of y'all might miss it, though. <laughs> uh, this almost feels like an ex could be trying to communicate with you, but you could be moving on to something new. Uh, yeah, I feel that. You know, if you get it, maybe you're going to be, you could get a text when you're on your way to a date. Uh, death card there and that 801s. Yeah, this is someone I think you put on cold uh, ice. Uh, could be a Scorpio energy. They could literally be texting you while you're heading out on a date or heading out to uh, meet somebody. For some of you, someone may be following your ass. Uh, not not going to be for everybody. You know, if they happen to show up or call at like weird ass times, you could be like, what the fuck? Knight of Swords, communication. Definitely some communication. Someone could be coming in a little pissed as well, Capricorns. What's going on here with the hangman? Oh, they got a burr up their ass. Someone could have a burr up their ass, Capricorns. Just saying. What's crossing this energy? The truth. Mm. Oh, now someone could be coming at you with some gossip. Oh, I don't know. It might not just be gossip. This person might want, might actually know what the fuck's going on. Someone could be wanting to tell you the truth, and they may be a little excited about it. This is almost that energy of, oh my God, I don't want to tell you this for so long, but I couldn't. Uh, beneath this, we got the Queen of Cups, so could be dealing with uh, uh, family, the High Priestess, the Lovers, the World. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, fucking A. Cappies, I got a tech with Judgment at the bottom of the deck. Uh-oh. Oh, Cappies, you know, this could be someone wanting to come in and confess how they feel. Uh, the only reason why I'm saying that is because we got the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, the Lovers, and the World card. Someone could be coming in wanting to talk and say, Hey, Cappies, I got to tell you something. I've been wanting to spill my guts on this for a while. Judgment here with the King of Swords, though. This could definitely be someone that you left out in the cold, though. Okay? Um, now, I'm seeing the Ten of Cups here with the Nine of Cups. So, Cappies, this could be this could be a family member or a friend. Uh, take it how it resonates. With that Ace of Swords there and that King of Swords, uh, yeah, I think you probably cut this person out. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it's going to be a judgment call, whatever you decide to do here. This feels like a very close uh, situation. I think you know exactly who you're dealing with. Um, this could be someone that's just going to tell you how they feel. Oh, it's going to be a judgment call, whatever the fuck you do here, uh, Capricorns. Over the world, we got the Page of Swords. And the Magician card. The Lovers, we got the Will of Fortune. High Priestess, the Nine of Wands. What else is that Nine of Wands? The Ace of Cups. Okay, Queen of Cups down here. We got the Four of Cups. And the Seven of Swords. Over this Ace of Swords, we get the Seven of Cups. The Hangman and the Knight of Swords is the Two of Pentacles. Someone's been waiting a long time to come in and talk. They've been coming, wanting to come in and talk and, and tell you the truth about something, but they might have been a little emotionally confused. Now, again, Capricorn, this could be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be a family member, okay? Uh, they've been wanting to, but they've been a little confused. Maybe not knowing how the hell to tell you, uh, to be quite honest with you. Um, you could have left this person... Uh, that Seven of Swords, I feel like that's your energy, Capricorn. If they come in with an offer or some kind of apology, 
or you could be waiting for them to apologize, or they could be waiting for you to apologize. But you've just kind of walked away from this situation. Uh, Seven of Cups there at the Seven of Swords. Um, this says that sort of illusion. Someone realizing they realizing they have feelings and not really expressing on it, Capricorns. I got to say that with that Nine of Wands there. Someone could have been holding back. They might have thought they knew what they wanted, but they could have been confused. So, you know, it, it could be that type of energy. Um, this could be someone very important coming into your life. Uh, a good, if it's not a lover, it could be a good friendship, just a good business partner. Some of you, this could be reconciliation with family. Because you got the world, the page of swords, and the magician. So this energy, Capricorn, to me, uh, be careful what you're manifesting. Keep focusing on you. Because your outlook is going to determine your opportunities. Your outlook. It's sort of like that judgment call energy at the bottom of the deck. Right? You're going to have to take what you know and figure out if that's going to be able to move forward. This person, place, thing, opportunity, whatever the hell it is here. Whether or not that's going to fit into your new uh, life. For some of you Cappies, this could be someone looking at you. Wanting to manifest you in. Because when they look into the future, they see you. Remember, at the bottom of the deck, the judgment call is up to you. I picked it up in the reverse, but we're reading it upright. So you're going to be the one making that decision here, Capricorns. Um... And this person is just going to tell you they were confused about what they felt. They were confused. They didn't know what to do. They were stuck. Uh, they didn't know what they were feeling. They walked away because whatever reason, they were stuck. They weren't trusting what they were feeling. Now they're wanting to come in and shoot for this new opportunity but, uh, you know, that page of swords could be you looking back at the past. You know, that's that sort of, you're looking, you're going to have to make a judgment call. Well, you know, okay, you had trouble deciding this. And now, because, Cappies, it feels like you walked away from this person. Right? If they took too damn long, figuring out what the fuck they wanted, you're like, you know what? I'll make that decision easier. I'm just going to remove myself from your equation. So, you know, bye. And you moved on. Uh, doesn't feel like there's anything negative here. Maybe if you were just waiting or holding out for this person. Or maybe you were in a relationship and you wanted to move it forward. But this person kept kind of uh, dilly-dallying. And you're like, you know what? Uh, I'll just... It's just better we part. If you don't know what you want, I'll just go out and find somebody who will. You know what I mean? Now, like... This feels like someone wanting to come back. And it does feel like past energy. I got to tell you that. Um, for some of you, this could be someone that you haven't dealt with. I mean, that's always the possibility as well. But I still think... I don't know. If you guys maybe flirted a little bit and you thought there was something. And then maybe they went off on another route. And you're like, well, okay, that was nothing. Uh, and that could be your judgment call. As above, so below. You know, judgment is just what it is. You're going to have to make that decision. Is it worth? Is it worth? Can you move forward and create with this person? Is this a person that you could envision a uh, life with? That's going to be the judgment call. That's you looking. That You're that page of swords energy. Now, it could be the other person looking as well. But I think that judgment card at the bottom of the deck, that's going to be you. Looking at the past, looking, thinking, well, I don't know, could I build and create with this person? Are we on the same wavelength? Are we going in the same direction? Are we heading in the same sort of life path? Is this someone I could build and create with? Because <sighs> this page of swords is looking over this. So if you've moved on from somebody, oh, you could be dating somebody. And maybe someone decides to just confess how they feel. And then your judgment call is going to have to be, you know, if you're not too committed to a person. 
You know, do you break that off to go to this person or what are you going to do? For some of you, maybe this is a judgment call. Maybe this is your energy. You don't really know what you feel or think about a person. So maybe now you're looking at it and you're like, well, okay, can I build and create with this person? It's such a beautiful energy here, but it's going to come down to that judgment call. At the end of the day, the main question is, can you build and create with this person? And is this someone you could see starting a life with, building a life with, uh, going down that life's journey with this person? So I like that, Cappies. It's going to be your judgment call. And there really is no right or wrong. At the end of the day, it's, it's when you look at it. Whatever the hell someone presents to you, however they've been in the relationship, however they show up, right? Is this someone that you would want to spend the rest of your life with? Is this someone that you want to travel down that road of life with? Is this someone you can create and build with? Do you guys work well together? Do you guys kind of uh, uh, feed off each other in a positive way? This could be at a point, maybe you're at a point in your relationship where you're going to be thinking about that. Maybe this is that turning point. Do you continue on or do you go find something else? Is this really what you want? This could be someone coming in. I like that, Cappies. You're just going to have to make a decision. Is There There really is no right or wrong to this, Cappies. It's, it's whoever you can see having a happy life with. It's whoever you can see building and creating with, right? I mean, that's your decision. Obviously, someone ain't going to be happy. But, you know, if you can see working and building and creating with this person, you can see spending your life with them or wanting to build a life with them, then, hey, great, go for it, right? But if you're like, well, you know, uh, if they're a little wishy-washy, unable to really commit, you might be like, fuck, I know. Um, maybe it's a missed opportunity. This could be, like I said, this could be someone you didn't know had feelings. And maybe you're with somebody. Maybe you just started dating somebody. Because that's usually when a lot of these motherfuckers like to come back into the picture, right? I think if you're dating somebody, you might not be, like, too invested in it. You know what I mean? Maybe a couple of weeks, a couple of months. Uh, you're still getting to know each other. It, it's you're, you're not even thinking about, really, the future too much. You're still in that kind of growing stage getting to know each other um i don't think you'd be living with this person you could just be out casually dating maybe you are just casually dating and someone's thinking someone's going to take you off the market so they're finally going to come in and speak the truth uh but you know what cappies it's going to be your just your judgment call there is no right or wrong on that you all don't let anybody guilt you into staying if you honestly don't see a future with a person or think that you can build and create you don't. Okay, this is what you got to feel in your heart, in your head. They could try to sell themselves to you, but that doesn't necessarily mean it because I think you're going to base it on uh, what the hell's going on, right? I do see beautiful energy here. So Capricorn, some of you, stay, stay, keep that heart chakra open. Uh, you could be meeting somebody who could definitely be someone that is going to change your life. And you change their life, both for the better. So, there you go. I love that for you guys, Capricorn. So, you know what? The choice is yours. You can have whatever you like. I said you can have whatever you like. I love that, Cappies. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. Oh, your call. It's your call, Cappies. And you know what? It's your decision. Oh, if they try to sell themselves to you, you know, you got to base it on what you feel. Your gut instinct. 